I'd say that uh, the VGM4 is mechanically a very straightforward evolution from VGM3, but undoubtedly the biggest changes that we saw over the winter were aerodynamic. With the removal of the double diffuser, that uh, resulted in quite a substantial loss of, of downforce, which we've been spent the winter trying to recover. All of those sort of changes are under the skin. From the outside, the biggest change you'll see is a move to a roll blade type roll hoop. And this gave us a small packaging advantage, we felt, so we went down that route. The curse packaging was relatively straightforward. We've incorporated the Mercedes system, which we feel we believe is very strong. It uh, involves very few compromises in the chassis, um, located under the fuel cell. We believe that would be a strong advantage to us in 2011. The resultant removal of F ducts means that the engine cover design has changed to suit that, but in its place, we've got this drag reduction system, which from the outside, you, you can't really see. You'll only see it when it's, when it's moving on the track. So those are the main changes. Mechanically, like I said, underneath, it is an evolution. We've taken what we learned last year, tried to move it up another step and integrated that into VGM4. So nothing radical yet. We recognize obviously a big change with the Pirelli tires coming in in 2011. With that in mind, we've brought in some expertise and knowledge to help us understand the Pirelli tires. We're taking data from the first few winter tests and then we'll, we'll look at any changes that need to be made to the chassis in due course. We've left ourselves some options, so we haven't penned ourselves in with respect to that. We just want to understand the tires more fully before making any major changes. I'm really excited about our driver lineup. I think it's got to be one of the strongest driver lineups outside of the top teams. I think we've got some real talent in there and I'm really looking forward to them getting in there and, and wringing the neck out of the car and seeing what it's capable of doing. The team's aim for 2011 is to finish at least two places higher than 2010. We understand that it's, this is a large ask. We, we don't underestimate the task in front of us. The competition in the middle of the field is extremely fierce and we think that's going to become even tighter in 2011 with the introduction of the new aerodynamic regulations and the tyres. So we know the fight's going to be hard, but we're up for the fight.